When we think of learning disorders, we tend to think of dyslexia and other disorders involving language. That is, kids who have trouble decoding language and learning to read. But there is another, less well-known type of learning disorder that's not about verbal communication. Hence, it's called nonverbal learning disorder, or NLD for short. Kids who have NLD do not have trouble decoding language, reading, or learning information in a rote way. You can think of it as the opposite of dyslexia. The problems these kids have involve all other kinds of learning. All the stuff that involves understanding information, relationships, concepts, ideas, patterns. These deficits, all things related to the right hemisphere of the brain, can affect a child's ability to do a surprising variety of things. Physical coordination, social interaction, problem solving, organizing thoughts, planning, all these things can be challenging. They seem very different, but the unifying theme is that each requires the ability to recognize patterns or concepts and then apply them to new situations. There are five areas in which children with NLD show weaknesses, but not all children have weaknesses in all areas. These are, one, visual and spatial awareness. Many kids with NLD have trouble understanding visual imagery. For example, when they are asked to copy a shape like a cube, they produce profound distortions. These kids can accurately perceive the cube, the forms that make up the cube and the relationship between them. Hence, they can't copy it. They also have difficulty evaluating visual spatial information. This means they have trouble grasping the relationship between things they see and having a clear sense of where they are. This can make them physically awkward. Two, higher order comprehension. Higher order comprehension is the ability to identify the main idea in something, the details that support the main idea and the relationships among them. This affects kids' ability to comprehend reading and write or tell a story effectively. It also affects taking notes. Some kids essentially take down everything the teacher says because they don't know what's important and what not to take down. Other kids don't know what's important, so they take down nothing, and people think they aren't paying attention. Or they take down all the wrong things. Three, social communication. Most kids with nonverbal learning disorders have trouble reading emotion in facial cues and body language, so they often don't know what's going on in social interactions. They miss the social patterns that other kids pick up automatically, so they don't know what's appropriate behavior in a given situation. Difficulties with social communication is one reason why kids with NLD often focus, sometimes obsessively, on technology. In chat rooms or in a video game, they don't have to deal with all the nonverbal stuff. Four, math concepts. Many kids with NLD are very good at rote learning and they are able to do well in math just by memorizing data. But as they get older, they struggle to solve more advanced mathematical problems that are based on recognizing concepts and patterns. Even with a problem they've seen before, if it's approached differently or modified slightly, they have trouble recognizing it. Five, executive functions. Executive functions are a set of skills we use to organize our thinking, plan and carry out actions, and figure out how to solve problems. Most kids with NLD have weaknesses in these organizing and planning functions. For instance, they struggle with breaking down a project into smaller pieces, are conceiving steps that need to be taken to get something done. How do these deficits manifest in kids with NLD? In addition to the different combinations of symptoms, kids with NLD also vary along a spectrum of severity. On the one hand, there are kids who are extremely high functioning, but socially awkward, a little clumsy, disorganized. Other kids are more pervasively affected and they function with more difficulty in many areas. These kids often struggle to learn everything that isn't rote or literal. When do deficits become noticeable? Many kids with NLD symptoms can do well enough in elementary school because they are very good at memorization and rote learning. It's common for them to run into trouble around middle school when their difficulty with the higher order reasoning, figuring out the main idea, the details, and the relationships causes them to fall behind. There's a saying that in fifth grade, you stop learning to read and now you read to learn. And that's when these kids can fall apart. The more that schoolwork, math concepts, and socialization become complex rather than rote, 
the more those difficulties start to show up. NLD is not one of the official diagnoses mental health professionals and schools use to categorize kids with psychiatric or learning problems. Kids who have it usually have other diagnoses, often autism or ADHD. But while those diagnoses list their symptoms or behaviors, they don't fully explain them. For instance, if a child is disorganized and inattentive, he may be diagnosed with ADHD. But he may well be disorganized and inattentive because he doesn't understand what's being discussed, what he reads, or the problem he's been asked to solve. That's where NLD comes in. You can't pay attention if you can't understand. Similarly, a child diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder will be described as having social and communication deficits. Those behaviors too can reflect NLD, not being able to recognize patterns in facial expressions, body language, and other forms of nonverbal communication can make kids unresponsive socially. Finally, it's important for parents to know that with the right support and strategies, kids with NLD can catch up with their peers and thrive. Thanks for joining me for this video. I'm Dr. Rachel Gans, a clinical neuropsychologist at the Child Mind Institute. To learn more about learning disorders, visit childmind.org forward slash LD support. There you'll find everything you need to know about giving children with learning difficulties the tools and support they need to succeed, plus hundreds of articles and guides to help you support children who are struggling with mental health, behavior, or learning challenges.